So it is GGV. We're going to be getting into Thursday's upset of the day. Wednesday's did not hit. So here I sit at one point and I'm a little bit stressing out. But um, I, I'm at least guaranteed to get a point today with a chance at a one and a half pointer. Uh, that would put me at two and a half and it put me in pretty good position during the weekend. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. Uh, at 12 o'clock, we, we basically we got four power, top 25 football teams playing today. We got 12 o'clock, we had John Brown, who's 0-0. Trevor number 20, Baylor, who's 1-0 on ESPN+. Plus. 7 o'clock, we had Southern Indiana, who's 0-1. Trevor number 4, Michigan State, who's also 0-1. Uh, Michigan State, everybody, 26 and a half points in the Big Ten Network. At 9 o'clock, we had Bakersfield, who's 1-0. Trevor number 21, USC, who's also 1-0. USC, fair by 26 on the Pac-12 Network. And finally, at 10 o'clock, New Mexico, who's 1-0. Trevor number 23, St. Mary's, who's also 1-0. St. Mary's here by five points on ESPN+. Plus. And I feel like it's pretty obvious which game I'm going to go with. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed that Loyola Chicago couldn't defend home court against FAU. It would have been a really nice upset to see. There were only six-and-a-half-point dogs in that game. Uh, it, it would have been nice to see an upset there, and it would have put me in a really great, great position. Um, but... I'm going to be honest, I don't see a whole lot of these upsets having even a shot at hitting. John Brown, Southern Indiana, and Bakersfield are all teams that are not going to even put a dent. They don't really even have an outside chance at beating Baylor, Michigan State, or USC, especially Michigan State after a rough, rough, rough loss against James Madison on Monday. They're going to want to get that taste out of their mouth. They're going to really lay it into Southern Indiana. The only real shot I think is New Mexico, right? New Mexico is not a bad basketball team. This is a typically team that is competing in the Mountain West. They're a competent basketball squad. And St. Mary's isn't this overpowered thing, right? Like, it's St. Mary's. St. Mary's is typically a pretty good basketball team. They are typically a tournament team, but they are typically not a national t contender every year, right? They're a top 25 team this year. They're a pretty solid basketball squad. But, uh... I think the Gales are going to have a shot to lose this one. New Mexico is not a bad squad. St. Mary's returns a decent amount of players, but they also get a, brand, a whole bunch of brand new players. New Mexico has been playing some good basketball over the past couple of years. I think New Mexico has a legitimate shot, obviously. The, and it's just obvious, right? Like, there's no other team that you can even really make an argument here for. I'm going to take the New Mexico Lobos. Give me the Lobos on the road to upset number 23, St. Mary's.